with great help from heaven, we are aiming our hearts towards the maker of the world and asking from him to give us the wisdom, the inspiration and the knowledge of how to channel the light of his goodwill to all of our surroundings and our loved ones. Our world is spinning in the right direction towards a moment that is above time. In a very spiritual way, growth and holiness are rising and holding hands together, bringing us all to a place of completion for the sake of all particles of creation to be included in that time of redemption, for them all to be elevated and completely corrected in perfection in that time that, like we said before, will take place beyond time, above limitation of time and place. Today we are experiencing moments under limitations and constrictions, under measures and under shapes, colors, weights. But in the future to come, all the shapes and all the particles will undress those walls of separation and unity and harmony will all synchronize together to express the godliness of our Maker in great perfection as one. A person that is under the water, when he takes his eyes up, he sees a silver mattress, a silver curtain, a silver rug that is blocking his eyesight from the air and from the outside layer that is above the water. But in reality, there is no silver line over there. That sight that you see above you when you're under the water looking up is a line of reflection of the outside layer of the outside world that is reflecting up on the water. All of our existence is an existence that is underwater and above us there is a silver line that is reflecting a godly reality that is above the water. We today look to the sides and we see a world of separation, a world of dividings, a world of quantities, qualities, colors and shapes, and they're all constricted. But in truth, they're only constricted into our eyes, into the limited capacity of our minds. But in truth, all those particles are shades, great variety of shades that are reflecting the oneness of our Maker. And He is unseparated and unbreakable, and He is one and is perfect. Just that He chose us as individuals for a certain purpose, and it is to experience His beauty under the limitation of time, and it is a creation. It is a thing that the Maker did, that He made us limited to experience a limited shine of His endless beauty. But when the time will come, those borders and walls of separation will all dissolve and melt and be gone. And we will find ourselves as individuals growing outside of our limits 
and spreading and expanding to infinity and beyond. So just please be prepared and ready for that great redemption to take place and understand that the beauty of our Maker is endless and does not have an amount and does not have an end to it. And we are just now focusing on one beam of light, on one channel in time, on one life experience. But in truth, we are just enjoying a certain beam of light that is cutting through the curtain, that silver line that is separating between this world to the world to come. That is a world that is coming, and that's why we call it the world to come, that it is coming, and no one can prevent it. And we are just waiting here and expecting the great salvation and the complete redemption when the greatness and beauty of our beloved Maker will shine in perfection and will fill our vessel and will heal our cracks <coughs> and broken vessels to their completion and to their greatness in full, in power, in joy, in wisdom, and in all aspects of beauty and prosperity ever been thought by our Maker. May His endless love shine upon us all to bring us all to that great time of redemption for great salvation for us and for all our loved ones. Amen. May it be His will. Freedom Through Faith